Hey everybody out there, it's the Dark Comic Nerd, and here we are playing Fate Grand Order. This video was supposed to be last night, but unfortunately, um, well, unfortunately and fortunately, I was at Mr. Chunky Jeffries for a while, and by the time I got home, I should have jumped right on making the video, but I didn't, and because of that, I got distracted with other stuff, and unfortunately, it just was midnight before I knew it and it wasn't worth doing it anymore because it wasn't officially Valentine's Day. So this is supposed to be us kind of ending Valentine's Day, guys. Pardon me, I'm gonna, the, finally the, the volume jacked up. It took a little bit, but of course it waited till I started talking and then the volume, you know, hawks up. Because when we first started, it was very soft and building into the music, which this is get out of that, guys, and get into the regular menu. So, we were supposed to do this for Valentine's Day because we were going to do a whole bunch of the Valentine's Day messages. You know, those messages, guys, that are uh, the ones that are actually uh, talking. They're actually voiceovers. Now, just to show you guys, um, we are in the midst of doing this rank up thing. So, anybody that is a new player... And if you are and you just happen to be able to get enough of, of, you know, if you manage to get these characters far enough so that you can actually do the rank up quest, good for you. And uh, here you go. Now you can do this stuff. Now, um, I don't care what they said. Han Christian Anderson, um, he's got um, not really what I would call a good noble phantasm. I prefer something that attacks. I mean, it's okay, I guess, if you want to increase the, the MP gauge. Now this is all setting up. It took me a while, but I noticed that a lot of these are setting up for the next event that's coming up. And we'll talk quickly about that. And then we're going to get into a whole bunch of stuff. It's probably going to be a long video. So FYI, for anybody watching this, be aware that the video is probably going to run long. Because we're going to be looking at a lot of, the, of those Valentine's Day things and doing some gameplay. We're going to see if we can get that last code cast that I really want really badly. So we're going to do some gameplay on top of that. Now, here it is, guys. This is the revival of the Seraph. Um, now, this particular event, I think, is the only place you can get a BB other than getting the BB from last summer event. So, if you don't have a BB, and trust me, you might want one because it's the only way you can get a Moon Cancer that I'm aware of, um, definitely go for this. It's a welfare servant, meaning it's basically a free servant as long as you do the required things that you need to do in the event. So if you're a new player, jump all over this like it was candy. And it looks like there's some maintenance. Uh, no, wait, that was um, something from last night, I think. Let me just double check, guys. Yeah. Uh, I think it was mostly the news. No, wait. Has this actually happened yet? No, okay, it is the, it's a notice about the news that's coming up, um, because I was going to say the date didn't jive, because we still have a day, which means actually we have until, on the East Coast here, until 11 o'clock tonight, and then all day tomorrow until 11 o'clock, and then they're going to switch over and do the Seraph thing. I just want to check something, guys, in the summon. As you guys know, we did great yesterday. We finally got our Musaki, uh, if I'm remembering her name correctly. So that meant that I didn't have to do anything else special for this event. Uh, Murasaki, excuse me. Oh, I didn't realize I was stepping my cat's tail, but she was up my butt. So you had it coming, flea bag. So as you guys noticed, I don't have the camera on tonight. Hopefully we don't have a problem like we do when I turn the camera off for the Ninja Turtle game. If we do, we'll make this as many parts as we need to to complete what we're doing. Anything good? That is not horrible. We got a, hey, we got a four-star uh, Blaze of Wisdom that is a caster. That's great. Let's use that right yeah. away on Murasaki. Um, I wish I could level her up quicker. I just didn't have the available stuff because I was leveling up other characters during the last event. Um, but I've been trying to get her up enough so that we can maybe strengthen her enough to use, there we go, in the event before it was over. But I'm not holding my breath at this point. Look at all these spare characters I have. Wow. 
I haven't even done the merger of the Noble Phantasm for that Archer yet. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to buy a few more of these. Yeah, let's just go for Gusto. But yeah, I've got the camera off because I didn't really feel like having it on tonight because we're going to be looking at stuff and you don't really need to look at me. This is not a gotcha video where we're going to be trying to roll for any specific characters. As you can see, I already got the character. It's too bad. I would have um, liked to get her to the second ascension stage and try to use her in the event because she gets a big bolster. Now what we can do is, and maybe we can do this, um, we're going to get right into checking out some of the stuff. As you guys can see, I got tons of that chocolate. I got tons of that chocolate. So I can do it where I can give the chocolate to somebody. Excuse me. I can receive a chocolate randomly or I can choose what characters I want to get them from. All right. So we're going to do a couple of these and then we're going to do some gameplay and see if we can grind for a bit and farm some stuff. Oh gosh. This is ironic. Because this is a male character, but it's in the lineup for the female characters, pretty much. And this particular character is getting a lot of recognition in a bad way currently on Twitter because of something that somebody did with cosplay. So how ironic to run into this character. Oh gosh, that's gonna taste like garbage. Yeah, Siegfried's from the Apocrypha line. I thought we could only get it from female characters when we did the random stuff, but I was wrong. Somebody take his sword and smack him with it. Oh, it's embarrassing, all right. That was the way you're dressed. Can you get it from... See, I thought you could only do... See, when it comes to giving chocolates, usually that's the male characters, I thought. But I was wrong. There it is. Wait, no... Okay, I get it. Ha 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 ha. It looks like they mixed in some characters that are female that dress as male characters in the game. And they put them in the opposing lineup. How cute. And nauseating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just move it along. I can't say we're going to do all these guys because there's just so many to do. But we're going to do a whole bunch of them tonight if we can. Didn't we already do this? Oh, that's right. We didn't do... We did her in the swimsuit. Um, now, I already got this last year, though, I think. So, I'm going to end up getting a double that they're not going to let me have. I think I might have gotten her just before last year's Valentine's Day event. Well, she's the, really the opposite of John. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already got that one. Oh, come on. I'm trying to click on it. There we go. いい
であれば私をかたどったチョコなんて食べたくもないのが当然でしょチョコは美味しいのに私の顔になっているせいで台無しそうならないのかしらにゃー食べ食べ食べるの This is so much better with the voice actor Great やだ信じられないあなたそれでも人間ですか美味しい私のこと美味しいって言った<笑>覚えておきなさいこの借りは必ず返すわあと龍の魔女のチョコを食べたなんて呪われても仕方ないですからねペンタフフフフフフフフフ Okay, so it says I can claim it again if I use it. I don't know if I really want to use that. I don't know if I care enough to use it as、um, material. I can't imagine there's anything I really want to use it badly enough on. I think I'll just pass on getting the extra one, is really all I, I think I'm going to do when it comes to that.、Um, how many of these do I have? I have 154 of these left, guys. Do you think we could probably get every single chocolate thing from the. From the guys and the girls this year, I bet we could. I'm guessing this is your character knocking, but. Who's the character? Oh, oh hey, cool! I mean, she painted it. Wow. And I just got this character too, not too long ago. If anybody actually has played her event, you know this is just the way she talks already. And I don't mean the voice actor, I mean, like, you catch it, she's got kind of an accent if you read the text. Oh, gosh. 
Yeah, I agree with that. Oh gosh, from who? I knew it! I agree with the second one right there. No way it can end well. Oh jeez. Oh, good grief. Oh, it's terrible. Either answer is terrible. Boy, her thing's a bit longer than the typical ones for just chocolate. Oh my gosh! That's the octopus, by the way, people. Yeah, it's complicated, that whole thing they're talking about. You'd have to actually do the event. The Oi is the name of the girl. It's weird, they have a, like mixed personality in one body. I'd like to point out by this time, shout out to my friend Chunky Jeffrey, who's probably going bat crap crazy, assuming he even made it this long, because he doesn't get into the fact that it's fine by me and a lot of other people that are speaking Japanese, because we can read the text. Him, he can't read the dang text, even on his big TV that I'm sure he's watching this on. Even if he was watching on his tablet, he probably wouldn't actually do it. So I'd be impressed if he's actually into this part by now.
納得いったかい I could inch at the chocolate thing, but I'm trying not to, uh, I'm trying not to, like, put it out in the open like that. Though, eventually, to get this to end, oh my gosh, um, you might have to, <laughs> he fell asleep, this is great. Great, here we go. I guess maybe if I said something... Well, see, I guess... Yeah, I guess if I had said something about chocolate, she would have kept ignoring him anyway, and by now... Okay, I get it. No matter how you answered, um, you would have just had to keep sitting there with her, wondering when she was going to give it to you. Sounds like he's out of it to me. Oh, okay, maybe he did reach for it. I can't tell if he was actually playing possum or not, but wow, that was a long one, guys. Um, we have our own little box of chocolates. So let's go and actually pick an actual servant we want to get one from instead of um, instead of just taking random shots. Who would be a favorite of mine? Oh gosh, let me think. That's the good thing about having these boxes, these heart boxes. You can pick a, just a, somebody that you really, really would like to get chocolate from. Now, um, I don't know if there's one from our... New caster we just got, we just got more sake, but um, let's find out. I think these are alphabetized, maybe. Oh, we got to do the BB one. Let's do the BB one, guys, and then we'll do some um, grinding at some stuff, and then maybe we'll come back and do another video with some more of this stuff later on. But I'm not sure. But let's do the BB one. This this has got to be funny as crap. This is the BB I got from the summer event. This has got to be great. Because BB's a nut. Oh, gosh. Here we go. She's doing... Oh, good grief. This is gonna be great. Yeah, he's making a run for it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
せっかく素敵なラブコールをいただいたのに今回はここまでのようですもう楽しい時間は早く過ぎるとはよく言ったものですさて賢明な先輩におかれましてはこの辺りで目をお閉じください悪いことはじゃんじゃん言いますけど本当にヤバいことは言わないが元の私ですとねここでスキップを押しておいた方が万事きれいに収まりますよ<笑> She's like Deadpool breaking the fourth wall <笑>押しませんでしたね押しませんでしたねそれじゃあ今夜はこの辺でテレビの前の皆さんまた明日お会いしましょう Here we go. Wait for it. Oh, here we are back where the summer event took place in Hawaii. Gosh, it's like a repeat of the summer event. Got the red eyes, that can't be good. All that for chocolate. Q. Downside with getting a lot of this stuff, unless you use it for, um, you can keep it for the Valentine's Day events, guys, and get uh, a lot of times 10% extra um, chocolate or certain items during these Valentine's events. And I can tell you, there's more coming in Japan, so it's probably a good idea to keep them. But boy, to be able to keep all these suckers, um, you got to be able to really fill up the old second archive, which means um, to expand the second archive, probably. 
because there's just so many servants. I might not even, I mean, it's just going to be a mess. I'm kind of curious what comes up when you manage to find one of those Valentine's Day things, what their um, value is for a craft lesson experience. Yeah, we just had to dump a few things we got from that friend from earlier. Okay, so we got that so all set up. Yeah, those, those, uh, those things for Valentine's Day guys took a lot longer than I thought. A lot of times those things are what we need to either rescue me from when I have no uh, quartz and I might go into some dangerous missions or uh, they're just some, you save up enough of them and they're what you need when you need to get that 30 QP there or you know the 30 quartz that you need to get a special summoning going. Um, so here's what we're going to do guys, we're going to pick our servant. Oh, I um, I usually have uh, Morisaki here, usually she's the one that pops up. Um, I don't think I want to mess around with, um, that nursery run doesn't look like she's very strong. I would like to have a strong character. There we go, there's one of our Morisakis with the 60% boost on those points. It's just epic. Um, we would like to try put our Morisaki I have, my personal Morisaki, into the back lineup so we can get the bond boost. Gosh, I think we have a lot of doubles right here. I knew that was going to be a problem. Yeah. She's a, she's a 16. And the fact of the matter is, is we can't get any of our characters much lower. Um, unless I would like to sacrifice somebody in my lineup here. She's not uber strong, but I'm happy that um, she's got an attack noble phantasm, which is something that uh, the Malloy didn't have. It's not like I haven't used this lineup before and been able to succeed. So, like I said, guys, my goal is to do a little bit of farming here. Um, we're going to grind away at uh, doing this same quest over and over and over and uh, farm our way into getting that um, last code cast I want. Trust me, it will not take as long as you would think. All right, let's jack the volume down a little bit. All right, let's go for it. Ooh, good lineup. There we go. We got Nero all set up. We're going to want our Noble Phantasm ready and set to go in the next lineup. Murasaki's 100% boost 
is the only thing that's going to make this not take forever. Volume was still a little high for the sound effects. Uh, okay, so we're all good to go. Yeah, if Morsaki didn't have a big attack boost, we'd be screwed. We actually got both of them all set up. I actually have a better idea that I'm going to try. Looks like we're well set up for it, too. As I was saying in one of my previous videos, I'm not a big fan of the fact that she uses pentagrams. That really bothers me. See, they're way too comfortable in Japan with using pentagrams on stuff. At least if I'm not mistaken, that should be a pentagram, and I'm sad to say that I actually know that. Come on, are we going to obliterate him? Oh yeah, we got him without taking any damage. Very nice. Unfortunately, that leaves us with only one Noble Phantasm going into this round. We might have to try to build it up a little bit and see if we can get at least one or two of our characters um, in a better spot. Really? There we go. We'll save that for another time. Um, we're actually looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of lag time with what's going on. Uh, let's see. I'd rather do this and this. And let's go with the busters are a lot better. Oh, that's some good damage. Alrighty, let's set it up here. So if I can get at least one other character's Noble Phantasm maxed out, then I'm gonna hit them for all I can. Now this is kind of a race against time. We want to do this before they max out their Noble Phantasms, we're going to have to hit them hard. Um, I think we're in a good spot, I hope. Let me double check. Um, now let's wait on that until the last minute. Okay, let's do this. And this. And this. Too bad, I was hoping to get... Oh, wait! Come on. Yes! Sweet! There we go, guys. Time to punch a hole. And I'm going to nail that first character with a NP seal, so she couldn't use her... Oh, it missed! Well, that's okay, because we intend to obliterate her off the face of the earth. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to use hers first, back up, and then if that doesn't work, boom. Everybody on the screen is going to die in about a matter of a minute. In Japan, they used to kind of sing some of their poems, so... Oh, I think we got them all. Nice. Woo! Only took one noble phantasm and everybody down for the count. Hey, I wonder if we'll get something good in that gold chest. Yeah, see, there we go. Her bond. My Morosaki in the back at the bond level just shot right up. Uh, looks like we got a gold assassin piece, so 
And we didn't get as much for points, only 36580 but that wasn't too bad. And there's some of the new stuff we just got. More of those chocolates. Yep, we're going to repeat that again, guys. Now, some people, like Stark and a few other people, they do Twitch streams of this stuff, and it's really cool. Here we go. We're going to use um, a Scotty, somebody's Scotty. Um, she's got a skill that will boost my noble phantasm up right at the beginning of the battle so i love having her around so yeah right now i'm actually contemplating what i'm going to do for dinner i was thinking about having some hot dogs with cheese in them but uh, i haven't decided what i'm going to do exactly um i don't know what else really i know i have some leftover Shaved steak still to have. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to lean into. A nice shaved steak sandwich just sounds fantastic tonight. <laughs> Alright, let's do some damage. Sweet. Here we go. When I'm all done doing this, guys, and we've got our um, next code cast, I'm going to go out and actually see how well the snow's been falling. I just know from what the weather reports are saying it's been snowing, but I don't actually have my eyes set on how much we've had so far. It's supposed to start out light and then really pick up as we get into tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you're toast, lady. There you go, you old hag. We set up pretty good. Um, oh, I'm just a little shy with the Queen of Sheba. Uh, but everybody's noble phantasm is pretty much set. So I'm going to go more for... Less for building up noble phantasms and more for um, getting that first monster there to take a, uh, take a dive. All right, so let's see. We want, yep, yep, and yep. There we go. Boy, that character, level 50, he must have some good defense stats. He really takes a hit. Okay, um, so the Queen of Sheba, as you guys noticed the last time, she wasn't really essential to the battle at the end so we're going to use her noble phantasm right here at the beginning because i want that monster dead The debuffs it does is some of the best things about that. Yeah, I could be in some serious trouble. Alright. Oh, awesome. It's exactly what I needed. I need Scotty to have a brave chain because we need to take that sucker down. Like I said, is that this character is is just it's really tricked out with a lot of good stats and if it couldn't defeat that in one shot it means they must have really pumped up the buff now i'm willing to take a hit from these characters in the back but look like we get to do another round sweet okay best bet right here boom and we're gonna actually save um, we're going to save the old three enigmas for another time, and we're going to set up with, yeah, let's do another brave chain. Um, because her noble phantasm allows me to avoid taking hits one time for each character, and with these guys setting up for their noble phantasms, that's going to be majorly important. Let's 
Just so everybody knows, we only have to get to 1,300,000 points to be able to get that next code cast. So we're plugging along pretty good and it shouldn't take too, too long. Yeah, we're gonna rock some good sea stars out of that. And there we go. All right, so we're all set up. I have a hunch our Queen of Sheba's gonna go down in flames before we have the opportunity to utilize her Noble Phantasm in the next round. So we're just gonna use it now and hope for the best. Besides, the two, well, Nero in the middle there, her Noble Phantasm is really what I need because it hits everybody. Well, that's not good. I was hoping it would take her out, but it obviously didn't. Look at that, we almost built her Noble Phantasm right back up. Wow, I stand corrected, guys. We might be able to get out of this. If we can take him down without him taking my character down, we might be able to swing out of this. We might be able to pull it off. There we go, friends. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, this is going to make things very interesting. Okay, what we're going to do is... All right, we're going to prep Scotty up. Boost up the Noble Phantasm strengths. Get that HP above 14. There we go, it's a little better. Drop the enemy's health. Excuse me, their... We're going to debuff them, drop their defense, and drop their ability to do critical damage to me. And then we're going to shoot for it. I'm having some real lag issues tonight. I wonder if it's the server. Because usually, I'm sorry, but my tablet doesn't do this. Or at least it shouldn't be. Though it could be running a scan. That could be it could be running a virus scan. That could be part of the problem. Yeah, I think I'm happy we're almost done, guys. Because I'm having some real problems with this just lagging. And it doesn't feel like it's getting hot in the back, so. Yeah, that'll drop her that'll drop her defense down a bit, along with what we already did earlier. That'll help out immensely. So yeah, I'm worrying more about dinner right now. It's uh, already a little after 8. But I think I'm going to get back into doing my Hyrule Warriors. I got done before I started doing this. Getting my Animal Crossing Festival. I did all my Festival stuff. It was really fun. Uh, took a bit longer than I thought it was going to. I almost thought about uh, broadcasting my Festival and my Animal Crossing New Horizons. But I chose against it. Yeah, she went right after her. Guns blazing. That's okay, because that brings in a character that can do more debuffing. Yeah, there you go. You just lost a bunch, and I'm going to heal my characters up. And I'm going to make them even stronger. So thanks for the help, schmuck. Her defense is in the tank. It's in the toilet. Oh yeah, I'm doing major damage. I think that brings out. Okay, so Mash, we know we're gonna we're gonna kick this woman's butt, so we don't even need to worry about having Mash out. And boom, you are gone. Let's see if we got some good points from this. 
Yep, half the master missions are done this week. Yeah, 41, 540, nice. And I got a mirror, which is very important to ascending my new Murasaki character. Hey, we got a Hellfire of uh, Wisdom. That was great. Um, okay, we are going to have to repeat this because we're closing in, but we haven't quite made it yet. I noticed that the lag doesn't seem quite as bad. So here we go again, guys. Uh, we're just going to keep going at it here. I'm not super hungry or anything, so this is fine. I uh, Like I said, I got a lot of my stuff already done tonight. We're going to get the Queen of Sheba up there. There we go. And then let's... Uh, I could go for a Brave Chain, but I really want to do a lot of damage. And she's just not strong enough. Not against these guys. As you can see, the borrowed character from one of my friends on the game is very strong. And you are gone. All right, as far as the Queen of Sheba goes, no, we'll wait on that. However, now let's just go for it, guys. Let's go for a Buster Chain and try to do some real damage to that schmuck in the front. Uh, him and his impure retribution. That's all I ever see that character do, it seems like. Okay, so Scotty's little quick... Yeah, her thing with the quick card effectiveness. We don't use it very often, but I think we've got good reason to now. Let's uh, see if we can do some good damage. Let's also use this now. Because I think I'm going to need it in the next round. Yeah, that actually helped out quite a bit. Okay, so this, this, and this. There we go. Yeah, do some damage. All right, now we're going to set ourselves up the same way we did in the last round. All right, we're sitting in a very good place right now. All right, boom. Like I said, a lot of people like doing this on Twitch Live. I really wish I could get mine all set up. And then people could choose whether they want to stay and watch or not. But if you're watching this video later on and you've been watching this long, you might as well go for Gusto. Let's go for the long haul. Alright, so we saved this so Scotty, we could get her back up to snuff. 
Hopefully before the next round even. All right, this ought to do it for her, and we ought to be able to do that and that, and be sitting pretty good. Oh yeah, you are toast, big, bad, and ugly. Yeah, see, they can't do a lot of damage to me. All right, ooh, we got a good lineup here. Let's go for it. We might be able to finish these guys off and move along. See what I mean? That was good. And there we go. We got our wish. You are gonzo, everybody. And we're set up very pretty for the next round. All right. First thing we do, we lower these guys' defense and critical effectiveness down. Do that. Now, here's what, if anybody hasn't noticed, this is what you do. This, oh, some, oh, he got me with an NP seal. That's fine. We'll actually be set. Um, you use her first. We would have used um, Queen of Sheba next. And that would have made the last one, which would have been Nero's, much stronger. Much stronger. Um, we could, I suppose, wait. Let me double check, guys. How long is the seal going to be on there for? One more turn. Okay, so I think we can make it, I think we can make it last. Oh, having so many problems. All right, let's just try to do some basic damage in the meantime. Yeah, we're having some serious lag in the service tonight. That was a lot of damage. I'm impressed. All right, let's try this again. Okay, we're all good and set up. Boom, boom, boom. So we just let it run, guys. I apologize. I'm sorry if uh, anybody finds this boring. Um, the irony is, is that my friend Chunky Jeffrey, I don't know if he's actually going to watch this all the way through, but he's always going on and on and on about... Why don't you play the game? Play the game. I don't want to just see you uh, go after characters, even though that's usually what brings in the views, or it used to. So, here you go. Overkill. There's one thing I didn't do. I, didn't, I don't think I boosted up their Noble Phantasm strength, but that's fine. We'll still be kicking some butt here before we're done. That's going to dive her defense down even more, so this is going to be a real big hit. Probably not enough to wipe her out, but it's going to do some serious damage. So yeah, like I said, big old snowstorm coming in tonight and tomorrow. Going to bring some crappy weather with it. So I'll be parking my butt here tomorrow, hoping the power don't go out, hoping the uh, internet don't go out. Ha uh ha, -huh. I take less damage, if any at all. You suck. La 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 la. Ah, oh, good buster chain. Let's pound it into her that she sucks. Now I'm going to teach everybody something that should be important. When using a support character in the back here, typically, if you're doing it right, your support character usually has advantages you don't have. A lot of times, people have um, maxed out and done limit breaks on the craft essence they're using, which means this character gets gives your gives your you know player the opportunity to get sixty percent more of the points that you need to get what we're working towards like the craft the uh code cast and the best thing you can do folks is make sure that the last hit 
is done with this character. And unfortunately, they left us a lineup that isn't going to do that. But normally, if the opportunity comes up, try to finish your try to finish off your enemy with your support character, especially if they have a much better craft essence than you do and you're farming for stuff because usually from my experience if you finish off the, the enemy with that character you will usually rake in a bit more of whatever you're farming for at least that's my experience All right, did we get lucky enough to pull what we wanted to? Yeah, see, we didn't pull a lot of points. Yeah, we're still shy, guys. And I think we're going to be shy for a bit longer. However, we did get the reactor core I really wanted. So I'd say we probably, guys, are going to have to at least go, I'd say, two more times. So, I don't know how long the video has been running at this point, but if you guys are finding this boring and don't want to see the end results, by all means, I won't take offense if you jump off. I don't even know how long we've been doing this for. We will, however, try to zip this along as fast as we can. I just didn't expect it to take this. Usually, I get a lot closer to 50 thousand points at the end of every round so i should have been there already but unfortunately um it's being a little stingy tonight a little sucker <laughs> yeah her attack boost will help us speed this along quite a bit Boy, that sounds so gross. And we just powered up her Noble Phantasm for possible use in the next round. We hope not to, but I'm probably going to. Because I'd really like to speed this along and get to the... Get to that um, command code. I said code cast earlier, but I meant command code that we really want. <laughs> All right, so let's see, because... If we do this right, we can do some serious damage to him. Because I think that tarnished paper is considered demon. So... Alright, so we're going to do... We're going to take an... Oh, perfect lineup. Boom, boom, and boom. Alright. Let's see if we can wipe these guys out in one good shot. See, and this is why I wanted the character, guys, because look at that that final ascension that she has. It's it's just very nicely done. Oh, yeah, we did some good damage. Okay, if he took some debuff at the end, that means he's not dead. But, oh, yeah, he's close to toast. Bye-bye. Sayonara, sucker. This sets us up with some good sea stars for the next round. That'll actually be very helpful to get us mo moving along. Okay, so first thing, let's help my characters along. Let's do this because it might not it might not do a whole lot to help out, but let's find out. Um, let's get her. Her Nova Phantasm it does not have much longer to go. I could try to wait it out and then do the triple whammy I did earlier, guys, that you saw. But um, this time we're just going to go for it. 
All right, so let's see here. Uh, well, yeah, I think I can see what I'd rather do. Uh, let's go with this, this, and then that. Come on, do some good damage. Uh, not as much as I was hoping, and that's because I don't think we got the critical out of it that I was hoping we would. I have no idea what these animals are supposed to be, but they are cute. She's supposed to be half genie in this game, so they're probably some kind of mystical genie type animal. Now, I believe that the two morons behind the, the main servant are going to get their butts kicked. That's not something I really think is going to be a possibility. They're probably going to get toasted here. Yeah, we did some good damage. Yep, they're gone. Okay. I got a plan. I got a plan. Oh, perfect. We can get some more. C we automatic quick chain. Ten C stars right off the bat. Unfortunately, quick stuff does not do a lot of damage. But, for lucky... Ooh, unfortunately, not as lucky as I was hoping. However, we're going to give everybody a bit of an attack boost. I really was hoping for to be able to do a little bit more with Muasaki. However, as you guys can see, we can do 100% buster damage with Nero. That's not bad. Oh yeah, that put some damage in there. However, they didn't give me, with a 70% chance of doing critical, they did not give it to me when it came to the arts card. Okay, as soon as the lag kicks out. Okay, and then we're going to seal. And... There we go. I love the way that we're... Oh, this is fantastic. Here we go, guys. Bam. We should be able to knock her out with this, I think, with no problem. Even if she survives the Noble Phantasm, she's going to get pounded with a chain. See, what I like is people that... Oh, she used her evade. I didn't even see it. Well, that's okay. I think we might have just nullified it and we'll be able to do some additional damage. No, we won't. What a pain. But she can't use her Noble Phantasm. So we're not completely missing out here. We got some, we got some critical stars. We do have a good opportunity to still do some damage to her before she actually can hit us. I didn't even see her use that ability that allows her to evade. What a piece of crap that was. Alright, let's see how much damage we can do with what we got. Come on. Yes! Like I said, guys, if you can, always do the final hit with your support character. Nice. There we go. We got a little bit of extra this time. Instead of, we got 41. So, guys, we are one match away. There it is. Next reward. Bride of the White Rose. We are one thing away. See, um, usually people that do these in chats, guys, and stuff, they can actually interact with people and talk with everybody and do stuff on Twitch and be like, oh, so uh, who are you waiting for for future characters? And, oh, it's nice seeing, like, I could interact with Chunky Jeffrey and stuff while just letting the game do its thing. Um, I'd have to still tell it what to do, 
but we'd be able to interact and do stuff. So that's the only downside with um, doing it this way. But this should be the last one, guys, guaranteed. And we're going to do things a little weird this time. We're going to speed things along by doing things a little out of the ordinary. It'll speed things along, but as strategy goes, it'll probably hurt me at the final fight against the final servant. But I'm willing to take that risk to move this along to the end, guys. I'm not even hungry. I'm really impressed. I'm not even hungry tonight. Okay, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now I set this up for this. It looks like we can maybe do a little bit more damage with Miss Sheba here. Looks like we got a good shot. See, I'm doing things a little less strategically, and I'm really trying to do things with this, like... Buster cards don't earn you a lot of Noble Phantasm points, but they do a lot more damage. So, I'm really doing a lot more to do as much damage in a short amount of time. Sweet! That's gonna help right there. And set us up so that we can use her Noble Phantasm to avoid taking damage if the enemies get the chance to use their Noble Phantasm. Alright, we're doing, we're set up pretty good here. I don't know if we'll be able to do a lot of damage, but we got Scotty up so she can protect us if need be. Yeah, we're having some, see, we're having some lag in the um, graphics. And that makes me think that it might be the servers, but a lot of times the way it works is um, the servers download, when you see it say loading in the bottom screen, Usually it loads this ahead of time. So probably what we're having is we're actually having a problem with the tablet tonight And it's probably because I think it's been overused. I think that's the issue I think we've been doing this video longer though. It's just being very unusual tonight I don't know what's going on exactly, but it is a bit on the annoying side This should be enough damage to nail that tarnished paper before he's able to put an NP seal on one of my characters, because that would be bad. Everybody used to hype about this character, and I think the big thing was is that her third skill, where you can boost somebody's NP 50% right off the bat. I think that was the only thing because I don't really find her noble phantasm that big of a deal But maybe it's just me Here we go. We're all set up for the next round All right, so the goal here is to do as much damage as possible and get us right into the next round Nice, perfect timing. All right, we'll save some of these extra effects for later. Oh, nice, very, very, very nice. Fantastic, better than I was hoping for. All right, here we go, triple whammy, folks.
We got their defense down, our attack up. We're gonna give the Noble Phantasm a bit of a boost. Oh, we are sitting very nice. It won't kill the servant. The defense buffs these servants. Their defense stats must be insanely stupid for the level they're at. Because I should be doing much more damage to these guys than I am. I have a hunch their defense stats have been boosted to offset the fact that if you use Morosaki, her attack has been boosted by 100%. This is going to lower her defense down even more, as always, guys. And then we're going to come in with Nero and try to at least get her down to half of her HP. Here we go. That that froze in such a way that it almost made it dramatic. Like, wait for it, wait for it, and then bam. Alright, so our goal here is to get Scotty to do the final hit whenever possible. So close. I expect that she might use her evasion ability. Let's find out. No, she's going to take it right on the chin. And uh, let's hope Scotty here can deal the final blow. If not. Uh, yeah, boy, we got some serious lag going on. I don't usually have this kind of problem too often with the tablet. That's yeah, fine. It didn't end up being Scotty, but it's fine because we really didn't need that much to get to that 13 that we needed. Well, it's taken bask in our goodies, folks. Look at this. We raked in 38 items. Look at all the fun stuff we ended up with. 47,120 points. We did much better. There we go, folks. Here it is. We're going to see it in person in just a second boom the final command code that you can get from this event and one of the best items even though i don't really use command codes very much i like collecting them for the point of just being able to someday do it let's see what this one does bride of the white rose recover 200 hp for all allies when attacking with this engraved card Wow, what a long little thing. If you if you are to take up a supreme sword like myself as your bride, then sheath must also be superb as well. Though some may differ in interpreting what superb means here since there are a great many things one might be proud of. Master, do not hold back. Tell me your dreams. I exist to be welded, you know, wielded, excuse me, to grant those dreams. He my love is more fiery than a dragon's breath. Prepare yourself and make use of me. So isn't that very kind of... I, I, that actually is very um, poetic almost for Valentine's Day. Um, the Nero Bride is a very... Uh, you'd have to know a little bit more about Nero's personality. And then the Bride character is, is very interesting. Um, I, I think uh, she's a little bit less self-centered and more into... Uh, love and and um, I don't want I don't want to say commitment because I don't know uh, much about where the character came from the event that it came part of but I know that there's a bit of a change in her personality um, where she is a little more loving of others than herself when it comes to this particular Nero version but yes it seems like it was a lot of work probably just for that guys 
Um, I'm going to actually partake in using some of the many event items that we managed to rake in from that. We managed to farm in more than just points, guys. We managed to farm in um, some serious items. And we're gonna use the we're gonna use some of the items that we got to buy some new items. So one of the things I always like doing is I always like getting uh, if I can find it. Ah, blaze of wisdoms. Here we go. We can rake in about forty three of those. Let's max it out. I can still get thirty two, but those are gonna be very helpful. So I'm gonna be next instead of going for points i'm going to be trying to get more of these particular items to get the rest of the blaze of wisdoms um i have this particular item here and i can't figure out exactly what i'm going to be using it for but oh right here would be nice yeah i'm running low on these assassin pieces and some of these other pieces so it's helpful to have that around so there we go guys that's pretty much it um it's about time to eat and take in a different game also as i told chunky jeffrey earlier we have some more videos to make uh there might be a, a ninja turtle one i'll be making for my other dark comic nerd channel in a bit and uh i'm gonna give the tablet a break of course and uh, i'm trying to think actually what's the charge level at yeah, the fact that the charge level is below 50% could be causing some of our problems, too. Um, but, right now, guys, as far as this video goes, we are done. You guys know we got more events coming up. We'll have to see how things pan out, what we're going to do about maybe future videos for this. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, consider um, just tagging me with a like. Um, if you want to hit the like button, I really appreciate it. Comments are always more preferred. And, as always... Um, at this point, guys, I don't always hit people up for subscribers, but if you want to hit the subscribe button, it would definitely be a really important thing to me because it seems like my only two subscribers are a bot program for spam and my friend Chunky Jeffrey, and that's really kind of sad and pathetic, and I could just use some more subscribers that aren't bot programs. So, just consider it. In the meantime, though, guys, I hope you had a great Valentine's Day yesterday. I hope you're enjoying your Monday, and we will see you on the next video.